So in your pass, we start off with the magician. This is another card that often signifies new beginnings and great expectations. This card reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the greater world if we simply make a point to try. This is actual transformation of the literal and figurative world in normal ways. You are not going to have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. The magician is all about action. If you do nothing, you'll get nothing. If you want to know what to do, then just do something because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. And to clarify this, the card below is the Three of Pentacles, which is a very positive card, particularly with regard to work, career, questions, but it's a good overall card that you are in general doing well. The Three of Pentacles tells you that the people around you appreciate you and your efforts. And they notice the quality of what you do even if you don't get a paycheck. The three tells you to keep doing what you're doing as you are on the right track. Although there is always room for improvement, you don't need to scrap anything and start again. So with these two cards, which are two positive cards, enjoy your new beginnings and great expectations. People around you appreciate you and your efforts. You're on the right track. Keep doing what you're doing. Just remember that. And that was your past. So now on to the present. We have the Ace of Swords. As with the Aces, the Ace of Swords can indicate a new beginning of some sort in your life. Possibly on several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning can be started by a separation of some kind from a relationship or from a job situation. Note that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be that underneath it all is good beneficial energy that is getting you where you want to go. The Ace of Swords calls on us to not be afraid to make a leap if it's in our best interest. And the Six of Pentacles clarifies this card. is often a sign of a turn for the better, particularly with regard to money. It's one of the more positive pinnacle cards. It speaks of equality, fairness, and the cycling nature of life. When this card appears, you are likely to be heading into a positive cycle. The Six of Pentacles is often 
a card about generosity, meaning that you are either about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something with value. Share what you have as there is always someone who needs it. So with the two of these cards, you should be experiencing several new beginnings, particularly regards to money taking a positive turn. And that was your, that was your present, so let's go on to the challenge. Okay, your challenge starts with the Five of Swords. You're likely to find yourself with some mixed feelings about life in general and about a few people in particular. Don't ignore these, but don't feel like you have to speak every word you're thinking and feeling either as you could ruin the very thing that you want the most, such as close intimate relationships with your friends and lover. Think several times before you really let someone have it, even if they deserve it. Pick your battles. And that card is clarified by the judgment. The judgment card can be a card about jumping to conclusions, decision, decisions, and of course, judgments which are too hastily made. If you are prone to such things, this is a clear signal to slow down and give things more thought and to give people more chances. This can also be a time of fundamental spiritual awakening. So with these two cards, make sure to think several times before you speak your mind or let someone have it because you may be jumping to conclusions. Your judgments may be too hastily made. And that was your challenge. And let's go on to the outcome, which starts with the Six of Swords. This is a great time for travel of any sort. It also can indicate movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Usually, this is a change for the better, whether the context is internal or external. Think about where you want to be. It's clarified by the Knight of Swords, which actually brings a fairly upbeat and cheerful energy. The Knights often mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. The Knight of Swords also points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. If you are waiting for news from someone or something, you are likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords can point to lots of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. You are likely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. You're unlikely to feel that way, which is a good thing. So go after your heart's desire. And that was your outcome. Okay, Capricorns, thank you so much for listening. I hope it's a great month for you. And I hope you have a great day.